Hi, Ray William Johnson begged me to teach him how to make an electric toothbrush. Jesus, I don't want to see this guy make an electric toothbrush. It's actually quite simple. All you need is one of these milk foamer thingies that you use to make foam from milk and put it on the stuff you drink. It's actually called a frother. What the f*** is a frother? Mother frother. <laughs> it has a DC motor and two AA batteries and by pressing the button it works. Never run motors when they are loose. Now I have to make it more like a toothbrush and for that I took this thingy from my daughter's handicraft stuff and I'm gonna wrap it around the wires of the frother. Okay, here we go. Just add some water and some toothpaste and you're ready to go. Ah, kind of works. It's a little bit weak though. Nothing that a strong drill battery can take care of. This baby is 12 volts compared to the two double A's that are 3 volts total. It's gonna give it the oomph that it needs. Okay, let's power it up. I better do this one quickly. Maybe do this stupid sh that you will regret for the rest of your life. In many applications, you don't just want a fast or a slow motor, you want to be able to tune the speed. And in such cases, instead of continuously turning on the motor, they do something called PWMing. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. This means instead of having the power continuously to the motor, you modulate it by turning it on and off at a fast frequency like 10 kHz or 20 kHz. By controlling the amount of time the motor is on every period, you can set its speed. The percentage of time the motor is on every period is called duty cycle. Here you go. I have designed a very simple circuit to create a PWM with tunable duty cycle to drive the motor. It's made of a couple of blocks. This one regulates the 12 volt drill battery voltage to a fixed 5 volt as the supply voltage. This one is an oscillator that generates a sawtooth waveform. This one compares the sawtooth signal to a voltage level tuned by the potentiometer and its output is a PWM signal. As the potentiometer voltage changes, the PWM duty cycle changes. And last is the MOSFET transistor that acts like a switch and turns the motor on and off fast with the PWM signal. Some simple sh I'll talk about it more in my website, electroboom.com. It's a very simple and yet effective circuit. Let's turn it on. A polarized capacitor mounted backwards is always a big no-no. You know what? I don't think it's that we want to make bombs. It's more like whatever we touch turns into a bomb. I bet if I go to the butchery and get some sausages, they'll turn into f***ing dynamites. Okay, let's try it again. Hey, it works! Now you can control the speed for the best brushing action. Let's go to the washroom. Hi, Ray William Johnson begged me to teach him how to make an electric tush... tush... <laughs>